You know, every time we put effort into our work, it's like we're sending up a little prayer. Isn't that a wonderful thought? But remember, it's not just about working hard, it's about working smart too. Like, did you know ants delegate tasks based on their skills? We should take a leaf out of their book. And speaking of working for God, it's not just in what we do, but how we do it. With joy, with love, with patience. I once heard someone say, work like you don't need the money. Love like you've never been hurt. Dance like nobody's watching. I say, work like you're working for God, because, well, you are. Of course, I understand it's not always easy. There are days when the coffee spills, the computer crashes, and everything seems to go wrong. But those are the days we need to remember why we do what we do. And if you ever feel overwhelmed, just take a moment, pause, pray. Remember, even Jesus took time off to pray and reflect, so why shouldn't we? Let's put our hearts into our work, my friends. Not for applause, not for recognition, but because it's a beautiful way to glorify God. And who knows, you might just inspire someone along the way. Blessings to all. As we navigate the digital corridors of our work, school, or passion projects, Colossians 3.23 offers a guiding light. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters. In today's age, our tasks and responsibilities often find their expression through screens, software, and virtual spaces. Whether you're a student attending online classes, an artist showcasing works on a digital platform, or a professional in a remote work setup, remember this, our efforts, even in the digital realm, can be offerings of love and excellence to the Lord. It's not about gaining accolades, likes or shares, though those can be encouraging, but about pouring our best into every task, knowing we serve a higher purpose. So, next time you're about to start a virtual meeting, create a digital artwork or write a report, pause and offer it up to the Lord. Seek his guidance, his excellence, and let that be the standard by which you measure your work. In doing so, even the most mundane tasks become acts of worship.